Welcome to day 24 of Meals with Jesus. From my family table to yours, um, hopefully you've got a, a Bible and maybe your Meals with Jesus um, book as well. Let me lead us in prayer before we dive into God's word um, together. Father, thank you so much that you feed us um, with your word. Help us to understand it now. Amen. Before we um, hear from God's word this morning, I wonder if you could talk with those around you and just chat about who it is in your family who finds things. Who is it who normally finds things? As Sally and I were chatting about who it is in our family who finds stuff, we were agreed, I think, that she is the one who normally finds stuff. I'm the one who loses stuff. But increasingly, Lily, as she's investigating the world, is finding things that we even can't see on the floor. Mostly it ends up in her mouth. Uh, but I wonder who it was in your family who found um, stuff the most. Today we're going to look at an encounter a man called Zacchaeus had with Jesus. As I read the passage, I want you to think about the question, why did Jesus choose Zacchaeus? Okay, here we go. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw Zacchaeus in the tree. He said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Zacchaeus came down quickly. He was pleased to have Jesus in his house. All the people saw this and began to complain. Look at the kind of man Jesus stays with. Zacchaeus is a sinner. But Zacchaeus said to the Lord, I will give half of my money to the poor. If I have cheated anyone, I will pay that person back four times more. Jesus said, salvation has come to this house today. This man truly belongs to the family of Abraham. The son of man came to find lost people and save them. I don't know what you came up with, but it's clear that it's not because Zacchaeus is a good person. Uh, he's a tax collector, Luke describes him. Um, a tax collector is one who takes um, money from people, actually more than he was allowed to. And Zacchaeus was very good at being a tax collector. And Luke tells us he was very um, wealthy. But more than that, Zacchaeus um, was, was small. He wasn't very noticeable. Um, amongst the crowd. He would have not been seen uh, in the crowd that Jesus um, came by. He couldn't see Jesus, but Jesus sees him. You see, Jesus finds Zacchaeus among the crowd and he wants to have a meal with him. Jesus finds Zacchaeus because he's a lost man. I wonder if you noticed how the crowd responded when Jesus chose Zacchaeus. They complained. Who do you think the crowd thought Jesus should have chosen instead? They say Jesus shouldn't have chosen Zacchaeus because he's a sinner. A little number seven. I guess that shows us they thought Jesus should have chosen someone who was good and right with God to be his friend. But that's not who Jesus chose. Jesus chose Zacchaeus, the sinner. Why did Jesus do that? Well, he says, verse 10, the son of man came to find lost people and save them. That's the wonderful news, isn't it? that Jesus came to find lost people, lost people like me and like you. And he invites us to be his friends. I wonder what you've learned from this story today. Do you feel pleased to be in God's family like Zacchaeus? Well, then thank Jesus that he has found you and saved you. Do you feel lost? naughty, a long way from God's family, then pray for Jesus to come to you and find you. For Jesus is very good at finding lost people like Zacchaeus. Let me uh, lead us in a prayer. 
Lord Jesus, thank you very much that you came to seek and save lost people like us. Help us to rejoice in what you have done for us this day. Amen.